I was going to say, before we move on to enemies, because you spoke about enemies there, there is one thing I wanted to ask, uh, last thing about the gameplay demos. Um, at one point, the player uh, is prying a door open. Um, just talk to us how that and other weapons are fed back via like the dual sense controller, because obviously that's a big feature that we spoke about last time um, with the PlayStation. Um, so what sort of things can we expect as gamers with the dual sense? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what i wanted to hear that's what i wanted to hear that's a great answer uh, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> that could, that controller is absolutely amazing um so all the guns have different forms of like trigger effects and haptics so i think a long time ago we showed a video where like the rifle was like pulsing the trigger yeah, yeah. and so e- each one like um even the uh, K-12 saw in the game, like you can feel it in the trigger and when you pull it, it feels like it's revving the blade and, and then you hit, you know, different surfaces. It'll change up how that feels. Um, nice. Our, our uh, kind of BFG looking weapon, uh, when you hold down L2, that trigger is like shaking to death the whole time you're charging it. And then when you pull the trigger on that, it's like both triggers are like fighting you while the whole controller is shaking um gosh what other stuff is there so, I mean, just, just to be clear sorry that bfg weapon yeah, is that my <laughs> my favorite weapon i mean what was the name of that i mean i think i caught a glimpse of it um so it's got two different names so actually all the guns do so it's got like the simple name that's in the weapon wheel and stuff it's called mm-hmm. a, just a, a dew or do yeah, which yeah. is a direct energy weapon okay um it, it's primary fire mode it, it, it's a giant laser cannon um I think in the technical, like what the, you know, the people in the world would have called it. I think it's called a chimera or something. It's got some technical like designation and then chimera at the end. Um, uh, resistance fall of man. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, shout, shout out that game and the enemies in the chimera. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, but like in the first firing mode of it, it's like, it's a huge laser cannon and it's overpowered as can be like, it'll melt anything you point it at. And yeah. then the secondary fire is like this, like black hole that, like, yeah. like anything it comes close to, they just like ragdoll and it like starts sucking them in and then throws them. Yeah, it, it's, it's, like, it's a stellar on us, man. I mean, we've got a black hole in the game <laughs> you can use at will. I mean, just seeing that alone as a weapon, <laughs> I mean, come on. It's, it's really good if you have a lot of enemies and <clears throat> you're pinned and you just need to fire that to get them to get away from you. Although there are some enemies that won't be affected by it, and they'll still come after you. So it's it's certain ones. Nice. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so, um, triggers. We've, I, I mean, it's in everything. Yeah, nice. I have a favor. Uh, delay the game a little bit. Just so <laughs> when you fire that black hole, can you get a license for Hans Zimmer's Interstellar score? Uh, <laughs> just... Just to piss Alex off even more, listeners of this show will know. Um, but I mean, can you imagine doing that and a score hits like? I, I mean, technically, the game is not gold yet, so I can still add stuff. Yeah. <laughs>